Chapter 41, Age 12 Mr. Fisher had taken the boys on one of their overnight deep-sea fishing trips. Jeremiah couldn't go. He'd been sick earlier that day, so Susanna made him stay home. The two of us spent the night on the old plaid couch in the basement, eating chips and dip and watching movies. In between the Terminator and Terminator 2, Jeremiah said bitterly, He likes Khan better than me, you know. I'd gotten up to change the DVDs, and I turned around and said, Huh? It's true. I don't really care anyway. I think he's a dick, Jeremiah said, picking at a thread on the flannel blanket in his lap. I thought he was kind of a dick, too, but I didn't say so. You're not supposed to join in when someone is bashing his father. Page 240. I just put the DVD in and sat back down. Taking a corner of the blanket, I said, He's not so bad. Jeremiah gave me a look. He is, and you know it. Con thinks he's God or something. So does your brother. It's just that your dad is so different from our dad, I said defensively. Your dad takes you guys fishing and like, plays football with you. Our dad doesn't do that kind of stuff. He likes chess. He shrugged. I like chess. I hadn't known that about him. I liked it, too. My dad had taught me to play when I was seven. I wasn't bad, either. I had never joined chess club, even though I kind of wanted to. Chess club was for the nose pickers. That's what Taylor called them. And Conrad likes chess, too, Jeremiah said. He just tries to be what our dad wants. And the thing is, I don't even think he likes football. Not like I do. He's just good at it, like he is at everything. There was nothing I could say to that. Conrad was good at everything. I grabbed a handful of chips and stuffed them into my mouth so I wouldn't have to say anything. One day I'm going to be better than him, Jeremiah said. I didn't see that happening. Conrad was too good. I know you like Conrad, Jeremiah said suddenly. Page 241 I swallow the chips. They tasted like rabbit feed all of a sudden. No, I don't, I said. I don't like Conrad. Yes, you do, he said, and his eyes looked so knowing and wise. Tell the truth. No secrets, remember? No secrets was something Jeremiah and I had been saying for pretty much forever. It was a tradition, the same way Jeremiah's drinking my sweet cereal milk was tradition. Just one of those things we said to each other when it was just the two of us. No, I really don't like him, I insisted. I like him like a friend. I don't like him like that. Yes, you do. You look at him like you love him. I couldn't take those knowing eyes looking at me for one more second. Hotly, I said. You just think that because you're jealous of anything Conrad does. I'm not jealous. I just wish I could be as good as him, he said softly. Then he burped and turned the movie on. The thing was, Jeremiah was right. I did love him. I knew the exact moment it became real, too. Conrad got up early to make a special belated Father's Day breakfast. Only Mr. Fisher hadn't been able to come down the night before. He wasn't there the next morning the way he was supposed to be. Conrad cooked anyway, and he was thirteen and a terrible cook, but we all ate it. Watching him serve rubbery eggs and pretending not to be sad, I thought to myself, I will love this boy forever.